I'm Ben G. Bessemer, and today I'm going to present a presentation on theory of knowledge with respect to the natural sciences. So first of all, we must um, know what is a natural science. A natural science is a branch of science that deals with the physical world, like physics, chemistry, biology, geology, etc. Before anything, we must bring forth a real-life situation. So as a real-life situation, not necessarily that it happened to me, but in the past, um, the world was thought of as being flat. So basically, people, people saw the floor they were walking on, and people saw the flat ocean, or apparently flat ocean, and they made the logical conclusion that the whole world is flat because, hey, that flat floor must keep on until the end of the world. So it must all be flat. This, however, was wrong because humans, we I mean, we went to space and we saw that Earth is a sphere and most probably we knew that before that. But it's a prime example of how our assumptions and our perception of the world, based on previous knowledge, can act as a factor limiting knowledge in certain areas of knowledge, in this case in the natural sciences. So at this time people considered it a truth that the world was flat and because of this perce because of this perception that since people see flat lands and don't see the curvature of the earth with the naked eye um the actual knowledge of the earth geology was limited Besides this it makes us ponder if this happened in the past what other knowledge could be limited to in the natural sciences because of our assumptions and our perceptions from this we can extract a knowledge issue. Our knowledge issue is to what extent do perception and assumptions act as a limiting factor to knowledge gained in the natural sciences. Before the next slide I would like to show a video called Go Beyond the Cover by Thermoblend.
Okay, so um, what message is trying to be transmitted? This video does not really have to do with the human sciences, but it does relate. Because as humans, we naturally judge a book by its cover. As we can see in the video, one least expected that the man was fully tattooed. And similarly, people least expected that the world was a huge sphere. This means that our observations could be wrong because of assumptions, like we thought before of the world being flat. And ultimately, this leads to a barrier of gaining knowledge in the natural sciences. Because knowledge in the natural sciences started based off as observations using the scientific method. So, the scientific, scientific method. In order to gain knowledge in the natural sciences, the scientific method must be used. Um, but we must see what role the previous perception and logic and assumptions play on this method. And with previous perception, perception what I mean is information previously gathered by the senses and the fact that this plays a big role on assumptions to be made in the future. So as an example we can see the experiment of dropping two objects and um, let's say like 500 or a thousand years ago before we studied gravity and air resistance um, we dropped a bowling ball and a pen obviously or maybe not obviously but more than more than let's say 90% of the population would have thought that the bowling ball would drop faster but as we know in vacuum they would both drop at the same time this means that our assumptions or the way we perceive or think of things may be wrong and for another example we we can think of our recorder experiment made with chemistry students and these chemistry students were looking for chemical levels in a pond. For these students, taking into account previous rainfall may seem relevant for these measures, but their observations actually neglect neglected to look at temperatures of the pond because the students uh, who were doing this experiment thought it wouldn't be necessary, but temperature was actually the most relevant factor. And this shows that the students gathered the wrong information and they reached the wrong conclusion inaccurately explaining the chemical level which was their ultimate goal just because of assumptions and just because of what they thought was right prematurely another limiter of our observations is expectations so when we undertake an experiment we will definitely have expectations of what we can find and these expectations can actually be what drive us and this will most probably trick us into wanting to see results that will prove ourselves correct leading to probably a wrong answer and this leads on to problems not only with the observation step of the scientific method which we have already analyzed but also with the hypothesis step which is a very important step the fact that we want to prove something just because we assume it is true leads to a hasty generalization as well or trying to affirm something without enough evidence this also finally leads into us overlooking certain unwanted anomalies in our measurements taking us to confirmation bias so in conclusion the fact that our brain makes assumptions of how the world works based on previous perceptions lead us to believe that like believing the world is flat a long time ago because we perceived it to be that way we could actually be thinking of many other things in nature equivocally and this could be very important to us so counterclaims or other points of views opposite to what i think it is arguable that all experiments going through a scientific method count with some sort of bias or with a characteristic leading to misleading information. In other words, I said that people want to prove stuff that they want to prove. So let's say I think that um, a bowling ball drops slower than a pen. Um, if I want to prove that, my brain will work in a way that favors that situation because that's what drives me but um this can lead us to but but people other people may argue that 
this not the case that if we're using the scientific method correctly um everything is everything could be accurate and on the other hand people may also argue that perceptions cannot be wrong about nature because optical illusions are all man created if we think about it so not all but let's say 99% of the time because we can't be certain of not of all 100% of the cases so for example um we can see in this slide the the picture of the vase or the two faces this was man created the the example we saw in class of the of the of the colors in the in the squares that was man made so if we're studying the natural sciences how can our perceptions be wrong if there are no illusions made by nature that we know of so this could be something that people uh, can use as a counterclaim to my claim so implications my implications on my life of this issue is that things that may appear to be true such as being the only life form on the solar system could be as wrong as the flat earth theory was and this is very important to me because I've always almost all my life been thinking about aliens or other life forms on the rest of the universe and if years ago our perceptions and assumptions um, made us think that the earth was flat now this and this and right now we think that we're the only life form we could be completely wrong and also when performing experiments on the other hand and relating to the scientific method since I am taking physics and chemistry I should not make hasty generalizations in confirmation bias because this could misguide me so thanks for watching and see you soon <laughs> see you tomorrow <laughs>